Searching answers for a Richmond man recovering from bill shock. The Northside homeowner got a water bill for nearly $2,000. He says that there's no way that he could owe that much. Richmond reporter Madison McNamee tries to sort out the confusion. When you receive a bill that's four figures compared to what you're, you're typically used to, calls first concern. $1,920.32. Brad Michael still can't believe what Richmond said he owed on his recent water bill. Adding insult to injury was the letter that came with it. And stating that a review of our records indicate that the meter reading on your current bill has been verified and is correct. So we would have a lake in the back of this yard if it were correct. <laughs> Michael immediately checked for leaks around the house, it's but didn't find any. Uh, it's normally around 200 to 250 you know, on, on a monthly basis. But, you know, quite honestly, we don't really know because we've been historically receiving estimated bills. Those estimates are what's confusing Michael. His bill states his home's last actual reading was in December 2022. DPU later said that was incorrect. It was actually August of 2020. It seems like nobody can tell us what we what we actually used and you know that that's not a very comforting feeling. He then went on the next door app. The day after, the city called him back. They were able to correct that down to about 90% of what we were charged, and so we were we are supposed to be receiving a new bill. DPU declined an interview but said it is working with Michael. Pay attention to whether your bill is an actual or an estimate and compare that to what your water meter shows. If if they don't line up, I would have the city come out and take a look. A month ago, DPU told NBC 12 it is making progress in its billing system, trying to get more accurate readings. And a new billing system should be ready by 2026. Too long a wait, says Michael. And my wife and I, we have a four and a half month old that, you know, we, we have expenses for. <laughs> So $2,000 is just, just not coming out of thin air. On your side, Madison McNamee, NBC 12 News.